Hey everybody, it is Scytherian, which means we're talking about video games yet again! Surprise, that's what we do on my little YouTube and upload channels. Today's game is still Wolfenstein! I am so happy to have this in my hands finally after so long. This is a game that I loved. It is a cornerstone of my childhood. It is an awesome game from back in the day. And I'm really glad at the reboot. Very, very happy with the game. They've kept so much of its original awesomeness intact, and they've updated it. Now, as you can see here, the graphics are amazing. The game looks unbelievable. And quite frankly, look at that pixelated body. That is impressive. Now, if you, ha if you can't tell, this is the Easter egg within the game that lets you play like the original Castle Wolfenstein. Something I also love that they put in. The original game. It's actually hidden. It's a nightmare mode, like sleep dream thing that you can play to play original Escape from Castle Wolfenstein. So you get to have the fun of the old school game. But this is what we had back in the day. It didn't really have a story. You uh, just played as a guy. Now, you had these pictures next to your health. These pictures would... Uh, change based as you played the game like if you took damage or whatever here they're just utilizing them to signify the levels of difficulty but just that kind of nod to the original game is something that personally me as an old school fan really loved I love the fact that based on the difficulty it had a different picture this really kind of reminded me of the old school game as you can see there uber mode for the people that are uber I play it on bring them on because well I'm a wuss and it's easier now, the game is an old school game, but it is updated. As you can see from this clip, very much a Bioshock or any other RPG story element game uh, moment here. You're in a cockpit, you're shooting at airplanes, you're very much in a story, not really uh, getting into the meat of the game, and not really doing anything that has to do with the whole shot of the game. Just playing a moment to enjoy some action to really immerse in the story. And then as the gameplay itself rolls out, you can keep to its original roots. If you just want to be one of those mayhem people, as you see here, I'm just unloading with a chain gun. Take that, Nazis! I will stop you and your evil regime. So yes, you can keep true to the original game. It is not a cover fighter. It is not a stealth game. It is just a mayhem first person shooter. If you want to utilize stealth and cover, you can. Those gameplay mechanics and aspects are in the game. And so ultimately you can play the way you want. You can sit here and do like you see me doing the original, just kind of utilizing walls and cover to focus your enemies and take them out. You can utilize cover as a cover shooter. You can do stealth moves as a stealth player. All of the original game is really kind of intact, but also the diversity of personal choice. So you don't have to just do the straight up carnage. You can do, you know, more of the sneakiness, more of the subtlety. And then other things about the game that have been kept in really, really awesome moments like these. This little wall here that you see, this painting is obviously a door. Anyone who's played a game who is worth their salt knows that that's a door. Now there's gotta be some sort of lever. I don't find one. I look on my map and you see there that room that hasn't been uncovered behind me on the top of the map. So that's gotta be a room. There's gotta be a way in. Ah, that sword's out of place. Let's move it and huzzah, open sesame. Now pay me my monies. So yeah, great moments and great things like that have been kept in the game. The original game had these little secret rooms all over the place. So does this game. Doom and Wolfenstein uh, both kind of had these where you would unlock these secret rooms and anything could come out. You might unlock more Nazis or bad guys to deal with. You might unlock goodies. And I love that the gameplay designers did not really want to focus on these. So these little tricks to opening these doors and things are not too difficult. Very easy to figure them out. As you saw there, there was three levers. I got it there on that first try. Not hard to do. And then you go in and you pick up your bonus stuff like uh, Silence Pistol here and some of the collectible stuff that they have in the game. Lots of collectibles to unlock, so there's great replay value here for all of this stuff. If you didn't find it the first time, you find it the next time. And then these things, this is a new addition to the game for a new age setup. This is a perks pet perks talent system that gives you bonus buffs, uh, more damage when you shoot down your gun, ha faster health regen, you name it. It's based off of your play style. So if you're someone who does more of the stealth, you're going to unlock those talent bonuses. If you do more of the assault or the demolition or the tactical kind of shooting, you'll unlock those kind of bonuses. There's no limitation to these. You can unlock them all, but it really your play style dictates it. So very happy with this game. It has kept its original roots intact and it is also very much modernized and updated for everyone to be able to play their way. So it is a great game. I highly recommend you trying it or picking it up. So if you have a chance, do it. Until next time, I am Cytherian saying good game.